Hey guys, it's Tom Cherams with the FujiNet Project, and I wanted to make a quick video. This is not particularly FujiNet related directly, but it is a utility that I've been working on uh, called Atom's Sonic Screwdriver, and it aims to be essentially a complete, a very comprehensive uh, file and disk management utility for the Coleco Atom. Uh, I did this after looking at the current state of Atom utilities. I thought I could do something better, and I needed a way to basically take and stress test all of the various um, bindings that I've been making in C to talk to EOS and to do other things. So this was a good excuse to basically flesh all of that out. I've been working steadily on this for the last few days in between doing firmware changes for the next release of FujiNet here. But I wanted to show you what I have here so far. Um, whenever Atom Sonic Screwdriver starts up, it scans for uh, it scans the boot up device for a valid file system. In this case, since uh, Sonic Screwdriver is just a boot image, there's no file system. I'm going to take and actually change this behavior a little bit, but for now, it gives us an excuse to select a different device. And as we can see right here, we have selections for all of the uh, common uh, AtomNet devices, including the two tape devices there on the end. I'll go ahead and select device number five because I have a copy of Atom Calc in there. And as we can see right here, it immediately comes up with, since this is an EOS file system, it comes up with the EOS directory. The label is in the tab and you can move around and manipulate and just have a little look here and you can see that we've split things up into file functions drive functions and finally change drive to do something else which rescans everything so uh, file functions right now has all of the usual suspects uh, as you can see there's a file viewer rename files you'll be able to tag files uh, for multiple copies and the like. You may notice that uh, I'm only using the smart keys for things that don't have a key on the keyboard specifically. So if you want to copy files, use the copy key, etc. You want to delete files, use the delete key, and so on. I figured that was much more intuitive. But if we go ahead and look at properties for a particular file, for example, uh, I'll go ahead, I don't have it wired into this page here, but I'll do it from here. We see all of the EOS file properties here, and we have the opportunity to take and press edit metadata to take and edit each individual field. Uh, the date field will actually have the ability, if the FujiNet is available, to take and get the current date from the FujiNet so it can be applied to a given file. Uh, you'll also notice that we get a total number of bytes shown here versus the allocated and used blocks, etc. things that you would expect here. Uh, and of course, there's a viewer for viewing the file and viewing the file as text and viewing as hex, which I'll be working on next. Anyway, so uh, if we actually go out and we go into uh, drive functions, for example, there is a particular function here. We'll see things for formatting, for retentioning, again, for view uh, and Viewing in this case is literally so you can take and view individual blocks on a particular medium, that sort of thing. But the interesting thing here is the view map feature. And we can see right here at a glance, right here, uh, the allocation maps here, you can see what type of, what type of block each block is. And one of the next things I have to add is the ability to go use the arrow keys to take and walk through the file system here so you can see which block exactly and uh, return on it and get the property page for each file, that sort of thing, and link it back to what you saw earlier. Um, right now, it's literally showing one block per visual block here. That means if there are more blocks, there's previous and next pages. And so it's just that's, you know, there are things to be added there so that that will work. But I wanted to go ahead and show you guys this and to show that it, you know, actually did what it was supposed to do. You'll notice that there's a difference between uh, whether a, a block is used and whether it's simply allocated. And you see two different shades of green here so you can see where the gaps are in a particular volume. So you have the opportunity to take and uh, crunch those files. Uh, as soon as I figure out how to take and do a decent crunch algorithm.
But uh, for that, uh, I'll just leave it here. I wanted to take and do this real quick so you guys could see um, what I've been what I've been brewing on. This is shaping up to be uh, uh, a great utility here. I want this to be the best possible disk and file utility uh, for Atom. And yeah, as you saw earlier, it tries to detect for EOS and CPM file systems. I'll support both and you'll be able to copy and move files and do things between both and edit the metadata between both and so on. So um, with that, I'll go ahead and leave this here. As always, until next time, have fun.